I'm going to show you how to install um, Microsoft Visual Studio Code on Ubuntu Linux. Um, I'm running uh, 20 LTS. Um, I'm not sure when they added the Snap Package Manager to Ubuntu, so um, if you're running anything older than 20, Ubuntu 20, you may have difficulty with this, so um, leave a comment below if uh, if such is the case with the distribution you've got. Um, and the snap command is available on many Unix um, systems, so uh, this should work or may well work on what other Linux distro you're running. I've got a shortcut to my terminal here, but just to show you in case uh, you don't have it, just click in the lower left corner, type term or ter, you'll get your terminal. Um, link you can click on and then uh, it's as easy as snap whoops install whoops we want to run this as sudo so as a super user do sudo snap install code and you have to use uh, the classic form there's a security issue if you try to install it without the dash dash classic um, from uh, snap so do that enter your login password and assuming you have um, sudo privileges on the system you're installing it um, the download will continue and um, I'm gonna splice the video here and jump ahead a bit because this takes a little bit of time to download Okay, we're just finishing up um, downloading, and voila, it's installed. So now I can, let's see, do I have a source directory yet on this? Yep. I'm going to change into my source directory. And now if I do something like uh, Rails new foo, I'll create a new Rails um, project. It's going to take a second to update the gems. All right, so um, we've got the um, our new Rails project. So I can just say code foo. And it will launch Visual Studio Code in my directory of my Rails project. Um, you can see all the normal Rails-y stuff here. Um, and then one thing I'll show you additionally is if you click on the extensions, um, it's probably helpful for us to install Ruby for this project. And then when you see the little uninstall here, you know that guy's installed. And then Rails. We'll look at that guy. He's got 130,000 downloads. We'll install him also. So now if we click back here and look at some of our source files, maybe the application controller. Uh, There, it's picked up that it's um, Ruby source file. And if we look at, oops, don't want to do that. Go away, Firefox, quit being helpful. Um, let's look at the application layout. And we'll see that our Rails, um, embedded Rails, is also picked up because we have the Rails plugin for Visual Studio Code. And that's about it. Um, leave any comments or questions below if you have any questions or concerns. But um, that's, you're up and running with uh, Microsoft Visual Studio Code on Linux.